CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thank you for being here. We begin tonight in the Comox Valley where the recent disturbing rash of teen suicides has prompted the regional coroner to investigate. The coroner is trying to find out why the youngsters killed themselves, if there's any link between the teen deaths and how we can stop it from happening. So far, though, no connection has emerged. The teens were not friends, they had not been bullied, and they had not shown signs that they were considering taking their own lives. CTV's Gord Kerbis has the story. When RCMP responded to the discovery of a body next to this Comox Valley Highway, they began their investigation into the latest of a series of teenage suicides. In fact, it was the fifth in this community since 2009. It is a, is a tragedy for these kids, for the family, for the school, for the community. Uh, I mean, they're having to go through this day to day uh, with this on their mind. The 17-year-old girl who ended her life was from Vanier Secondary. The four who died before her were all from Highland Secondary. All five were between the ages of 14 to 17. But the region's head coroner says that's where the similarities end. They weren't hanging out together. They weren't sort of going to school together. They weren't uh, uh, having, you know, coffee together, those sorts of things. Um, they were primarily uh, sort of casual acquaintances. The coroner's office had been looking into the tragic deaths to see if there was any connection between them. We've spoke with the family members. We've spoken with, um, you know, the school counselors, principals, and the police. And at this point, we've all come to the same conclusion that there is no suicide pact. Bullying certainly was not a factor um, in any of these deaths. And so, you know, it really comes down to just, you know, a very small community and a really tragic set of circumstances for these five young kids and their families and friends. The most recent suicide has prompted a great deal of public awareness. A Facebook group called Comox Valley Suicide Awareness formed to bring more attention to the problem. Getting the awareness out there and making people aware that suicide is real, it does happen, it affects every well, it doesn't necessarily affect everybody, but it does affect a lot of people. Tonight, the group will be unveiling these gold and black ribbons. They hope everyone will wear one in a simple but symbolic show of support to help fight the teen suicide problem. Pretty much the idea was just that we would have our ribbons and they're gold on one side and they're black on the other side. So it's showing hope like light coming out of darkness. A special meeting will also be held tonight for families in the community that may be struggling with problems and need assistance. The purpose will be that we'll have service providers from all kinds of facets of the community care group, uh, uh, the RCMP, uh, Ministry of Children and Families, school district, uh, community agencies that provide counseling on drug and alcohol issues and a variety of different things. The meeting will begin tonight at 7 o'clock at Isfeld Secondary School. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.